Ano ba gumawa na ASMR? Hindi ako marunong eh. <laughs> Yan! Ah, yes. I love it. Oh my god. Ang sarap niyo talaga. I think kailangan ko muna ibaba itong piatos na ito para ma-start natin yung video. <laughs> Now, somebody asked me, aking YouTube. Teka, hanapin ko lang yung comment na yun, ha. So, sabi ni Analia Moriarty, Ate, can you suggest stories, books, po na classic for beginners? Girl, you know I can do that. <laughs> Pero hindi ko lang sure kung makaklasify ko siya as for beginners pero I will do my best. By the way, if I pronounced your name wrong, I'm so sorry kasi medyo ano ba to? Anaili, Anaila, Anaila. So I guess yeah, Anaila. So Anaila, this video is for you. Ganong beginners ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Like super beginners, beginners like never read any classic before. I'm going to assume that pero I'm still going to suggest yung mga medyo intermediate na para at least, di ba, na-challenge ko kayo magbasa. So, number one. Let's talk about the classic, the ever-classic Catcher in the Rye. Now, I've heard this before. Meron na nagsabi sa akin dito na, if you like Catcher in the Rye, you're a red flag. To which I say, we are colorblind. <laughs> Kasi, for me ah, for me, na-enjoy ko naman tong libro na to. I can understand why some people would say na this is kind of like a red flag book. Pero kasi, for me ah, just for me, itong Catcher in the Rye, it's, it's basically a view or a point of view of someone, uh, not really a child, pero um, a person or a character who is growing and at the same time na discover niya yung mga gusto niya at hindi niya gusto sa society. So, kung ikaw ay isang beginner at babasahin mo to, you're not going to be pawoke. They think that if you read this, you're gonna be more uh, angsty when it comes to your superiors. Parang ganon. But you will just start appreciating or seeing a lot of things that you like and you won't like about, well, economy, society, yung mga taong kasama mo, that sort of thing. It won't make you an anarchist, that's for sure. <laughs> Pero yeah, I think The Catcher in the Rye is an interesting read, lalo na para sa mga uh, gusto mag-try ng classics, para sa mga beginners. So, there you go. At saka, this book is only 214 pages. So, alam mo yun, isang upuan mo lang talaga to. Hindi, it's not gonna take you long enough to read this book. Not unless super busy ka. Pero, with your schoolwork, or you know, if you really want to make time na magbasa ng libro, I think, I think you can read this in one sitting. Alright, next. Ito, the girlies ate this book up. I am talking about The Picture of Dorian Gray. Look, this is a classic. Actually, I'm rereading it right now. I know, meron pa akong Jonax. <laughs> Namawala kasi yung iba kong mga magnet na bookmark. So, I had to use Jonax. There you go. What can I say about Dorian Gray? The Picture of Dorian Gray is basically a shout-out dun sa mga tinatawag nating pretty privilege. So you know how there are people who can just get away with everything dahil lang they look good, they look nice, they look... You know, a, a lot of people look up to them ba? This is the book for that. <laughs> Eto, may babasahin akong part dito. So first part lang naman. The most obvious message is that there is always a price to be paid for iniquitous and self-indulgent behavior and that it will catch up with you in the end. People are usually called into check for the consequences of their own misdemeanors so that they learn empathy and sympathy. Without consequences, selfish inclinations are allowed to run riot and become amplified until the person has no control. So, like I was saying earlier, pretty privilege. Pero yung mga twist dito sa story na to, it's 
damn fucking good. Of course, I won't say what really happens in the story. I want you to actually pick up this book. This book is, oh my god, magkano ko na nga ba ito nabili? Basta, mura lang to sa National Bookstore. I think nasa 100 plus lang siya. Mahal na ba yun sa inyo? Basta alam ko hindi siya papatong ng 150. Tapos, ang number of pages nito ay... Teka ha? Ang number of pages nito ay 224 pages lang. So, isang upuan nyo lang din to. Hindi kayo mabubor. Yes, the language is in English. Pero it's the kind of English na if you have Google, if you have access to internet, to Wi-Fi, to your data, pwede nyo na google kung hindi nyo maintindihan, di ba? <laughs> So, yeah, you could do that. Ito, of course, hindi mawawala. The Bell Jar. Alam ko, kasama to dun sa mga wrap-ups ko. Meron akong playlist dito sa YouTube ko. Ang pangalan niya is wrap-ups. Tapos, kasama to, at saka yung um, ibang mga libro na na-mention ko na, dun sa video na yun. I wouldn't really say na this is for beginners. I will say, however, that this has a trigger warning. Okay, ang number of pages niya ay 234 pages lang. So again, ganyan lang siya kanipis. Mababasa niyo to ng isang upuan lang. Ano bang mga trigger warning nito? Um, suicide. Yes. Self-harm. Uh, attempted suicide. And depression. I am recommending this for the 16 years old and above. If you want to read classics or if you want to start reading classics, here you go. Pero for the younger ones, this is not... Don't don't start with this, okay? <laughs> ah, notes from the underground! Okay. Okay. Ganito yan. Na-mention ko na din to sa isa sa mga uh, wrap-ups ko. Pero I think hindi ko pa siya fully na-mention bakit ganun yung reaction ko tungkol dito. Ganito kasi yan. <laughs> This guy, on the cover, he hates everyone. Particularly yung mga kasama niyang mga soldiers before. He hates them. He hates the economy. He hates how everyone is being treated. Parang ganun eh. Basta, by the way, itong character na to, never natin malalaman yung pangalan niya. Like, we will have no idea whatsoever kung anong pangalan niya. Basta, siya yung narrator natin. Tapos, napaka ano niya. Uh, what's the term? May term eh. As uh, self-critical. Masyado siyang self-critical to the point na kahit ikaw, maiinis ka na sa kanya. For me, ah, there are times na naiirita ako dito sa narrator natin. Pero, meron siyang mga pointers na sinasabi every now and then that I feel like I can apply it sa economy and sa society natin dito sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Teka, um, this is only... This is only 130 pages with several other notes dito sa likod. So, if you're interested in reading this, go ahead. Alright. The Divine Comedy, Dante's Inferno. You know what? I'm gonna look for that animated video na, na, na pan, una ko napanood tungkol dito. Kasi I got curious before na sabi ko, sige, ano bang meron dito? Tapos, yun yung una-una kong video na nakita. And I got interested because of it. So, dahil na panood ko yung um, para siyang anime na version nitong story ng Dante's Inferno, sabi ko, oh, sige, I'm gonna look up this book. So, I did and nalaman ko na it's actually a trilogy. <laughs> Nung natapos ko to, I felt smart. <laughs> I felt smart? No, really, I felt smart, okay? Kasi, it's an interesting take between how people used to think about heaven and hell and how yung sinners, mga tao, like, we did not have a concept of what hell looked like until it was written by Dante Alighieri. So you could just imagine yung shock ng mga tao na parang, oh my God, yan ang itsura ng hell. And you know how people sometimes take things literally? Diba? So, merong mga tao na they they read this and they're like, ooh, now that's really interesting. At merong mga tao na parang, oh my god, I have to go to church. I have to do this. I have to do that. So, 
Ito yon. Tsaka, look at this. Meron siyang mga illustration. Ay, hindi nyo pala nakikita. Pero ayan o, oh, may, may ganyan siyang klase ng illustration. So, every now and then, na parang nawawala ako dun sa kung nasa ang layer na kami ng hell, I always just look at this illustration kasi para siyang may map. At saka, when you read this, this is in poetry form. You don't necessarily need to be religious to read this. You just need to be open-minded. Okay? Whether you are the religious type or you're basically just someone trying to explore out of your comfort zone, which is, by the way, congratulations. By the way, pag binasa nyo to, itong nandito sa left side, ito yung literal na um, original text. Okay? Pero pagdating dito sa right, this is the translation. Tapos every now and then, you will see yung mga ganitong klase ng mga illustration. Ayan. So, nai-imagine mo siya. I mean, ako nung binabasa ko to, nai-imagine ko and I'm fucking creeped out. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm excited to read what happens next dito sa dalawang books na to. Um, I have Purgatorio and Paradiso. I think this has got to be one of my favorites. This is 1984 by George Orwell. Um, ano ba? Ano ba ang pinaka basic na <laughs> explanation ko dito? Um, ano yun yung sa, sa channel 2 yung mga tao na nasa loob ng bahay? Sorry, hindi kasi ako ma-TV eh. Ayun! Ah, uh, Big Brother House. Ito yon. This, I believe, applies lalo na ngayon sa digital age natin. So, this is one of the best depictions of a dystopian society. The way this book described kung anong klaseng society our character is living in dito, it's very applicable sa atin dito sa 21st century. Kung, kung, kung i-compare ko to sa isang game, I would say, alam niyo yung, oh my god, anong, We the Happy Few. Para siyang ganon. We the Happy Few. Check out niyo yung game na yon. It's kind of freaky. Basically, that game is, they have this happy pill. Diba? They have this happy pill and kailangan at a certain time, iinumin nila yung pill na yon. Oh my god, nakikreep up ako. Kapag hindi nila ininom yung pill na yon, magigising sila. Tapos may kita nila yung totoong nangyayari sa paligid nila, sa environment nila. And hahabulin sila ng parang thought police from this book. Tapos, basta basically it's a huge game. It's a nice game. I think ma-appreciate mo yun kasi this can also be that game. I don't know, pero I think they also took like inspiration from this book to that game kasi there are literally cameras and TVs and everyone's looking out. Everyone's trying to wait for someone to slip up. Yung character mo dun sa game, they're just waiting for you to slip up. This book has 330 pages. Hey, kung nababasa mo nga yung Chasing the Sun eh, kung nababasa mo nga yung Taming the Sea eh, what is 330 pages? This book started generations and generations inspiring um, writers and creators and, and filmmakers. This is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Ito, uh, medyo papatayin nyo ako dito. <laughs> Kasi, 454 pages siya. Kita nyo naman ang kapal niya, di ba? Pero, yun nga, like I said, it's iconic, okay? Dahil dito, sa libro na to, nagkaroon tayo ng twilight, nagkaroon tayo ng mga vampires, nagkaroon tayo ng idea tungkol sa mga creatures of the night. So yeah, why shouldn't you read this? Why shouldn't you read this? Okay, I'm just gonna say this. And I will get hate for this, but I don't care. <laughs> Kasi for me, dahil makapal siya, sobrang slow burn niya for me. Okay, next one. Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart. Pinabasa sa amin to nung nasa high school pa ako and I remember that I didn't like this book. Pero, nung nakita ko siya ulit, quite recently, tapos binasa ko siya with all of my notes inside, I'm thinking, oh, ah, uh, hindi ko siya naintindihan nung bata pa ako. Pero now that meron na akong, I would say, remaining brain cells, <laughs> naintindihan ko na siya. And I can say this na, this is a very good book. 
Yung main character natin dito, part siya ng isang community, Igob community. Tapos nakapatay siya, nakapatay siya ng another guy from another clan or another community. Tapos parang, oh my god, this is crazy. Parang, we gotta kill that guy. We gotta murder that guy. Pero hindi nila ginawa yun. So what happened was, they banished him. Diba? When I say banished, ibig sabihin, lumayas ka dito. Hindi ka na, may mapapatawad. Parang ganon. Pero dahil nga na-banish siya, ang dami nangyari sa kanya dito sa story na to, you would start thinking na this is the story about chances. Chances and choices. Yon, mas maganda yon. Chances and choices. Kasi with everything that we do sa buhay natin ngayon, we always have a choice. And it's entirely up to us to remember that everything we do, good or bad, there are consequences to it. And it's really up to us to learn from those wrong things or mga mistakes natin. Otherwise, we just continue to do the same shit, the same mistake over and over again hanggang sa matuto tayo. Tapos, um, 209 pages lang siya. So, isang upuan lang to, guys. Okay, malapit na tayo matapos. <laughs> Itong libro na to, isa to sa mga paborito kong binili ng kapatid ko. Hinihiram ko to. Um, this is from Kinokuniya from Singapore. Nung wala pa siya dito sa Philippines, we went to Singapore. Tapos, first time kong makakita ng Kinokuniya. I've heard of Kinokuniya way, way back. Pero nung nakita ko siya, and I was there, I was like, oh! This is heaven! Mas maganda siya kaysa sa fully book ng Philippines. And it was like, oh! Maganda niya! Anyway, so yun. <laughs> this, this is Thomas Bullfinch mythology. You know me, mahilig ako sa mga foiling, so loves sa loves ko tong libro na to. <laughs> Itong libro na to, meron siya sa fully book nung uh, Collins Classics na version. Pero kung makakakita kayo ng ganitong version, ito talaga yung bilihin nyo. Kasi maganda talaga siya, mag enjoy kayo. Masarap siyang hawakan. Nandito sila Prometheus, sila Medea. Oh! Alam nyo ba, ang favorite story ko dito, Medea. Naalala ko kasi, nung high school pa ako, ginawan ko to ng play. I mean, yung Medea. Gumawa ako. Ako yung scriptwriter nung play namin. Tapos, gumawa kami ng play for the entire school. Yun yung exam namin. And, I am proud to say na nakakuha ko ng 97. Iya, <laughs> yeah, girls, multi-talented, brah. Medea holds a special place in my heart. At saka yung best friend ko, siya si Medea dun sa play namin. Talagang, siya kasi talaga yung perfect for that role. <laughs> so, madami pa tong mga stories. Really, if you get the chance to read it, to buy it, bumili kayo kasi magaganda yung mga stories na nandito. Isa to sa mga paborito kong libro. Obviously, gamit na gamit siya, di ba? Eto. Hmm. Are you into philosophy? Um, itong next na yun recommend ko is Seneca Letters from Stoic. Okay, paano ko ba explain ng pinaka basic ang Stoic philosophy? Kung napanood nyo na yung Barbie Diaries, merong parte dun sa Barbie Diaries na sinabi ni Barbie na, You know what my grandmother always says? What other people say or think about you is none of your business. So para siyang ganun. Ganun yung vibes niya. It's about control eh. Like releasing your control and you thinking and dinidrill mo sa utak mo na not everything can be controlled. Not everything is under your control. Ganon. Ganon ang mga teachings dito sa Stoic philosophy. And yeah, I think this book is very good to read kasi with everything that's going on with you, with me, with everyone on social media, I think this sort of philosophy, this sort of teaching is good to remember at ang tawag doon? Isa Tagalog, yung i, -i ipa sa buhay mo. Ano? May term eh. Basta parang gawin mo siya sa real life. Ganon. Hindi ka mahihirapang basahin itong librong to. Okay? Do not be afraid to read philosophy. I think philosophy is like one of the most interesting reads that you can find and it's easily accessible para sa ating lahat. So if you want to explore philosophy, start with this. 
Stoic Philosophy. It's actually really good. Itong susunod, wala akong physical book nito, pero na-mention ko, I think na-mention ko na to sa isa din sa mga wrap-ups ko. The name is Carmilla. And sobrang sexy and ganda nitong libro na to. I mean, nitong story na to. Noong pinapakinggan ko siya, uh, it's almost similar kay uh, Dracula. You know how there are certain delicacies na merong mga tao na ayaw doon? Okay, for example, let's say it's not really a delicacy but it's a drink. Let's say matcha. Okay, not everyone likes matcha. But if you do like matcha, you have an acquired taste. For me, yeah, for me. So if you read and like Carmilla, you have an acquired taste. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I like Carmilla. I have an acquired taste. Let's be besties. Next, uh, Wuthering Heights. Yeah, oh my god. Why would I forget about that? Wuthering Heights is basically a story about this guy. Tapos na in love siya dun sa isang uh, girly. Tapos ito si ate, like the girl he fell in love with. He is above his rank. Kasi you, you know how it is when uh, during itong sa Bronte sisters yung society nila, di ba? They cannot marry someone beneath their social status. So again, with the economic and social status dito. So, dahil doon, dahil hindi sila like that, what happened was nagkaroon ng revenge plot dito sa story na to. I think it's interesting Kasi, you know, it's a play on dichotomy between good and evil. And then once again, saying na lahat ng tao is merong something evil inside them. Which I think is totally true. Walang tao na mabait. Walang tao na perfect. You know what I mean? So, the revenge here is... Ay, hindi. Ba't ko ba ikukwento? Basahin nyo na lang. <laughs> Pero yeah, I think, I think it's one of those classics that is good. The English of Bronte is not that for me, ah, it's not that deep for me. But I guess it's also okay para sa mga beginners. So, yeah. The Alchemist, for me, oh my god, I'm gonna get so much hate for this. But The Alchemist, for me, is boring. <laughs> Basically, The Alchemist, for me, feels like, alam niyo sa TikTok na, I am, uh, breathe for me, inhale. And exhale. Thank you. I am getting all of your bad vibes, and we are replacing that with good vibes. Yeah, that's that's what the alchemist feels like for me. Nung binabasa ko siya. Pero sa sobrang nipis ng libro na yon, you can read that in one sitting. I'm trying to look for it dun sa library namin kanina, pero it's taking me all day. I said, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> I have two copies of Brothers Grimm Fairy Tales by accident. Kasi ito, nabili ko to sa National Bookstore. Tapos ito naman, nabili ko naman. <laughs> Nawala sa isip ko na nakabili na pala ako nito. So, ito, nabili ko naman to sa fully book. So, ayan, dalawa sila. The more the merrier, I guess. Hindi ko na din maalala kung nasama ko to sa isa sa mga wrap-ups ko. Pero... These are just fairy tales. Ang favorite ko dito is Rumpelstiltskin. I'm still waiting for Disney to recreate that. Let's see kung gagawa nila yun. Kasi yung original text non, the original text of Rumpelstiltskin is so gritty and gruesome. Ito, as you can see, naka-plastic pa siya. Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Kaya ako to binili because of Sandman again. <laughs> What can I say? I'm a Sandman bitch. I'm a Neil Gaiman bitch, okay? And if you don't know, sa Sandman kasi, sa Sandman comics, na-mention doon yung character ni William Shakespeare. So, yun. That's the whole entire reason why I bought this book. Gusto ko lang mabasa yung original material. Okay, malapit na maubo si battery ko. So, I'm gonna go. I hope nakatulong yung listahan na yun. Next time, Next time, gagawa ako ng mas maayos na list. Pero I just pulled out kasi yung mga classics na meron at nabasa ko na dito sa library namin. So, I hope may ma-pick up kayo doon na book. If, you know, if you want to. Pero kung hindi, it's okay. At least meron lang kayong idea. So, alright. There you go. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye!